Good morning, everyone. Welcome to a little 30-minute vinyasa class. I'm warning you, I have a lot of energy today because it's Friday and I leave for Italy on Tuesday. So I'm very excited. And after I record these classes, I'm probably going to go run the lighthouse about 16 times. I have that much energy in my body. But for now, we are going to do a little bit of yoga. We'll start in downward facing dog. So set yourself up. And uh, just take a moment if you'd like to move things around a little bit. And stretch the arms out nice and long. And just breathe your way into your body. And then take a slower breath in together. And a slow breath out. Then reach your right leg up to the sky. Nice and slow. And then step the right foot all the way forward between your hands. We'll come up to a crescent lunge. Hug the legs together. Reach your arms up and up and up. And then as you exhale, we'll lean the chest forward, reach the arms backwards and come into sort of a modified extended pyramid pose with no hands. Rebend the front knee. You can bring the arms forward and up again. And as you exhale, arms go back and down. Navel to spine. And you lengthen. Again like that, slow bend through the front knee. Reach the arms up. It's a gentle warm up for the legs. And as you fold in the arms, reach backwards. So you have to hug the midline to balance yourself here. Rebend the knee, reach the arms up, nice and slow. And then bring your left hand down to the floor and bring your back knee down to the floor as well. A little easy twist here. And if you like, bend the back knee. Pull the heel in and take a hold. So you get a nice juicy quad stretch right from the start. And take a slow breath in. And a slow breath out. Release the back foot. Reach the right arm up. Tuck the back toes. Lift the back knee. So now you're in another easy twist. A little bit stronger through the legs. Nice deep lunge in there as you turn the chest up and up and up. Take a slow inhale. And then bring the right hand down and step it back to a plank pose as you exhale. Press the heels back, draw the heart forward, and then bend the elbows for Chaturanga as you breathe out. Press up to straight arms, then go downward facing dog as you exhale. Slide your left leg up towards the sky. Take your time. Draw the knee in and gently step the foot forward. Rise on up, crescent lunge. So funny. It's warm today, so I'm wearing bike shorts, but I keep noticing my legs and being like, oh, I have legs. I've been wearing tights for a very long time. Take a breath. As you lean forward, arms stretch back, heart stretches forward, and you find the balance. And you inhale to bend through the front knee, hello legs, reach the arms up, and then arms go backwards as you exhale. I'm just getting ready for that European summer, guys. Don't worry. Bend through the front knee, reach the arms up. And then bend the elbows, reach the arms back, and draw the heart forward. Last time to reach the arms up, nice and deep through the lunge. Then the right hand comes down, and the back knee comes down as well. You can stay here in the twist, or bend the back knee and pull the foot in, and give it a nice squeeze. Navel to spine, and keep that front foot lovely and clean and anchored. Slow, steady breath to open up through the right hip, through the right quads. Gently release the foot, reach the left arm up again, and tuck the back toes, lift the back knee up, and stretch wide across the collarbones. Big, big spaces opening up here. 
Take a breath. And bring the left hand down. And step it back to plank pose. Heels back, heart forward. Legs nice and strong. Bend the elbows to Chaturanga. And press up to straight arms. Then downward facing dog as you exhale. Slower breath in together. And steady breath out. Lift the heels, flex one foot, step a little forward, flex the other, step a little forward, keep going like that, little steps, little steps, little steps, until you get near the top, and then you'll step your feet outside your hands and come down into a squat, and press your arms on top of your knees, lift the heart up, breathe in, and stay here, pull the navel back as you breathe up, we'll press up to rise, but go slowly for five, Four, 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 three, lift the belly, drop the tail for two, squeeze the bum at the top, and one, reach the arms up, and then come right back down into the squat, slow, 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 four, three, four, two, and one, take a breath here, and then this time, you lower the bum down and lift the legs up for a little moment in Navasana, take a breath. Go to the low boat Ardha Navasana and pause. From here, bend the right knee and bring it in just above the hip. And then take your hands behind your head, curl your head and your shoulders up, twist to the right and reach the left arm outside the right leg. Then try to lift the right shoulder blade up off the mat. Feel the belly and really these side muscles of the belly turn on, right shoulder blade lifts. Come back to the middle, bend the left knee, straighten the right leg out, and then curl over to the left and reach the right arm outside the left leg. And draw the belly back and then work to lift the left shoulder blade up and off the ground. Breathe for three, left shoulder blade up for two, and one, come back to the middle, reach the arms and the legs forward, Ardha Navasana, and then bring it up, Navasana, and then bring the feet all the way down. Take them wide, lift the bum up, you're in a squat, take a breath. And then step or jump the feet back to a plank pose. And take a breath, heels back, crown forward, bend the elbows, Chaturanga. Press up. Straight arms, knees down, hips slide back to heels. Look forward, slide it through, cobra pose. Lift the heart up, lift the legs up as well. You're in modified shalabhasana. And then split the feet, hip width apart. Reach the feet back as you lift them up. Lift the hands, reach the hands back. Face the palms in and then interlace the hands above the bum. Stretch the fist backwards through space. Lift the heart up. Take a slow breath in and a steady breath out. One more inhale here, leave the legs up, release the hands by the low ribs, tuck the toes under, knees up or knees down, press up to a plank pose and then downward facing dog as you exhale. Slow breath in together. Slow breath out together. Lift the heels. Bend the knees, look forward. You can step to the squat, you can do the press walk like we did before, or if you have a lot of energy like me, we're going to take five hops forward and back to the squat, getting a little slower on the landing every time. So you land the feet outside the hands, and then you step it back. You land the feet outside the hands, and you jump it back. Three more. Arms stay lovely and straight in the transitions. Just slowing it down. Last one. Sit down in the squat and then press down through the feet and rise on up to stand for five, for four, belly in, tail down, three, two, and one. Reach the arms up and then we come back down for five. Four, three, two, one. The bum comes all the way down. You lift the legs up, Navasana. And then Ardha Navasana, belly pulls back. 
body lengthens. From here, left knee comes in first, hands behind head, curl the head and the shoulders up, twist left. Try to lift the left shoulder blade up for three, for two, and one. Come back to the middle, bend the right knee, lengthen the left leg, curl up, reach the left arm outside the right leg, pull the belly back, curl the right shoulder blade up, breathe for three, four, two, and one, back to the middle, reach the arms and the legs forward, and then rise on up, Navasana, plant the feet down, use the hands, lift the bum up, you're in a squat, take a breath in, and the hands down, step or jump, Chaturanga this time, land with bent elbows, press up, straight arms, knees down, hips slide back to heels, look forward, slide it through, modified Shalabhasana, lift the heart, lift the legs up as well. And we'll split the legs hip width apart, lift the hands, reach them back, maybe make a bind with the hands, lift your fist up, reach it backwards, and then with the feet split like this, like you're pulling something heavy, pull the heels in towards the bum, pull in, pull in, pull in, and then press them backwards through space and lift the heart higher. Again like that, draw the heels in towards the bum, go slow. And then press the legs backwards through space. One more time, pull the heels in towards the bum, try to keep the thighs lifting up. Feet are hip width apart, knees hip width. Press the legs back through space. Lift the heart, release the hands by the low ribs. Cobra, up dog, or somewhere in between, land the feet. Lift the heart up to a downward facing dog. As you exhale and you say hello to your legs. Take a breath in and a breath out. Lift the heels, step the feet a little closer to the hands. Either step forward to the squat, do the press walk, or we have five little jumps forward and back, or you can jump up and hold with the legs wide, knees towards the rib cage. Go for it. Five times. This time I'm just jumping backwards rather than jumping forward and back. Last one, you jump up to the squat and you land, press down through the feet and rise on up to stand. Go slow for five, four, lift the belly, drop the tail, three, two, and one, reach the arms up and then come on back down for five, four, 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 three, for two, and one bum goes down. Pick the legs up. This time, Ardha Navasana, slowly. And then back up to Navasana. Nice and simple, lower it down to the Ardha, and lift it up. Maybe keep the legs straight. Lower it down to the Ardha, lift it up. That's three, we have 10, lower it down to the Arda, lift it up, that's four, lower it down, squeeze the legs together, lift it up, that's five, lower it down, lift it up, that's six, lower it down, lift it up, seven, lower it down, lift it up, eight, lower it down, you got it. Lift it up. Nine, last one, lower it down to hold for five, four, three, two, one. Lift it up, plant the feet down, use your hands, lift the bum up to a squat. Hands go flat, draw the heart forward to Chaturanga. As you exhale, press up, straight arms, knees down, Hips back to heels, look forward, slide it through. Modified Shalabhasana, lift the heart, lift the legs up. Lift the hands, split the feet, reach the hands back. 
And then just one time, like you're pulling something heavy, pull the heels in towards the bum. Reach the fingertips back, 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 and then maybe take a hold of the ankles. Press the shins back through space. Widen the collarbones. Breathe here. Four, three. Four, two. No slingshots. I release the feet, but I keep them close, and then press the legs backwards. Land the hands by the low ribs, cobra up dog, or somewhere in between. To a downward facing dog as you exhale. And take a breath in. And a breath out. Lift the right leg up to the sky. And step the right foot forward between the hands. Rise on up, crescent lunge. This time, I'd like you to lean halfway forward and then lift the right heel off the ground. So you're in a little balance with the heel up. Now you take a breath, similar to before, arms reach back and you straighten the right leg as you fold. Rebend the knee, keep the heel hovering off the ground, reach the arms forward. And then as you straighten the leg, arms reach back, right leg lengthens. Again, bend the knee, reach the arms forward, and straighten the right leg, hips go back, heart goes forward, little balance, re-bend the knee, reach the arms all the way up to the crescent, and then heel down, hands come down as you exhale, three-legged downward facing dog, take the right leg up and back, up and back, up and back, and then bend the knee, roll the hip open, we come to wild thing, outer seam of the left foot, you'll land the ball of the right foot down, then press down through the left hand and curl the heart up, reaching long with that right hand. From here we come to side plank, so you pull the belly in, pull the ribs in, stack the feet, reach the right arm straight up, and then lift the right leg, Pull the knee in towards the chest and slowly step the foot forward. Hooray. Lower the back knee down. Pad the knee if you like. Reach the arms all the way up. Either stay here or take the arms down around behind you. Lean forward and pick up the back foot. Heel draws in towards the bum. The belly lifts. The tail Gaze is steady, breath is steady and clear. And gently release, hands come down. Let's take your two blocks. We go Ardha Hanumanasana for the back hip. So I pick up my right foot, I slide it through, but I keep a nice bend through the right knee. Hips stay square to the front, I walk the blocks backwards, lift the belly, drop the tail, legs hug to the midline, belly lifts, crown of head reaches up. And take a slow breath in and a slow breath out. You might tuck the back toes and lift the back knee off the ground, so stretching long through that left leg but keeping the pelvis as low down as you can manage. And take another breath in. Square the hips, right hip back, left hip forward. One more inhale here, and then gently release the back knee down. Shorten the stance, slide your blocks out of the way. Tuck the back toes, lift the back knee up. And we go three-legged dog to three-legged dolphin. So as the right leg climbs up and back, the forearms lower down. Then we switch the legs, right leg down. Left leg climbs up. You can either stay as you are or lean it forward and pick it up. Pinch a Mayurasana, press down through the arms. The legs might both come up, squeeze together, belly lifts. Stay for three, four, two, and one. Lower down nice and slow. Hands shoulder width apart, lift the heels, bend the knees, press down through the hands, pick the arms up, you're in a 
downward facing dog. Slide your left leg up to the sky. Lift the right heel. And step the left foot all the way forward. And then rise on up to a crescent lunge. Arms reach up. Lean halfway forward. Pull the belly back and hover the left heel just off the ground. Take a breath. Arms reach back as you straighten the left leg to fold. Knee bends, reach the arms forward, keep it the 45 degree. Legs straightens, heel stays hovering, arms reach back. Again, bend the knee, reach the arms forward, take your time. Last one, straighten the left leg, arms reach back, you fold. Rebend the knee, this time reach the arms all the way up. And then the heel comes down, the hands come down. Ooh, and you pause. We go three-legged, downward facing dog. Slide the left leg up and back. Bend the knee, roll the hip open, stay here, or take it over to a wild thing, landing the ball of the left foot down. Curling the heart up, stretching the left arm forward and forward and forward. We come out through the side plank, ribs tuck in, belly in, control through the right shoulder, and then lift the left leg up, draw the knee in towards the chest, and very slowly step the left foot forward. Lower your back knee down. Reach your arms up. You can always pad that knee if you like. Arms come down around behind you, and you lean forward, and maybe you pick up the back foot with both hands. The belly lifts, the tail drops, the elbows hug in towards each other. Nice opening through the shoulders. And gently release the foot. And take your two blocks underneath your two hands. Step the left foot through. Keep a bend through the left knee. Back toes are tucked. Pelvis is square to the front. And you're working to lower the hips down, down, down. And then you tuck the back toes and maybe you lift the back knee up. So you're stretching the back leg to straight, but keeping the pelvis as low as you can and dropping the shoulders away from your ears. Take a slow breath in. And a steady breath out. Twice more, inhale. Exhale. One more breath in. And then lower the back knee down. Shorten the stance, slide your blocks out of the way. We go three-legged dog to three-legged dolphin as the left leg climbs up and back, the forearms lower down. And then we switch the legs, left foot down, bring it in a bit closer, right leg up, stay here or lean it forward and lift it up. Pincher Mayurasana. Here for five. Four, 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 three, two, and one lower, slowly. Lift the heels, bend the knees, wrap the elbows in, pick the arms up, downward facing dog. Lift the heels, bend the knees, look forward, jump it through to a seat. Take your legs out in front. We'll do parasana, feet together, knees wide. Big diamond shape between your groin and your heels. And then we fold ourselves in. I like to nestle my arms underneath my ankles for a bit of extra support. And you can let the head drop down. 
maybe you hold still. For me, I like to sway my head a little side to side, kind of reaching out and finding these tight lines either side of the spine. You can slowly, slowly release the fold and bring your legs together, straighten the legs out in front. And we'll take Pashi Montanasana, reach the arms up and fold yourself in. Any variation here is fine. I'm going to bind my hands interlacing them at my feet down near the heels. And then I use my hands to draw the heart forward and fold myself in. Attention with the breath, attention with the whole of your body. Release the bind, roll on up, and bend the knees, and lie yourself all the way down. Hug your knees in towards your chest, give them a nice big squeeze, and then keep a hold of the right knee, extend the left leg out long, shift your hips to the right, and take a twist over to the left as you exhale. Back in through the middle, shift your hips left, and straighten the right leg, left knee in, and twist. Reach the left arm out, turn your gaze to the left. Back in through the middle. You'll stretch your legs out. We'll take last pose as fish pose. So take your hands. And for me at the moment, I like to bend my elbows and slide my hands underneath my sacrum, then stretch the legs out. And then as I press through the top of the head, I have to wrap my elbows in underneath me. And then I lift the heart up. Legs are active. And you tuck the chin, lie yourself down, and find Shavasana.
And you are welcome to stay down and rest for as long as you like. Otherwise, you can go out into the rest of your day. Hope you enjoyed this little firecracker practice. Uh, and I will see you next time. <laughs>